down the line. I can get you a very good deal. Now. How much? <laughs> I have no need for your island dollars. What do you want? A piece of your cocaine operation. Rudy, Mr. Chong is bad for business. Feed him to the crocodile. Yes, sir. If you can get this to use customs, I can get you all the codway you want, with no problems. Toda la coca que tu quieras. Good. I can assure you there'll be no problem. Ladies and gentlemen, on our final approach into Los Angeles International Airport, please make sure your seatbelt is securely fastened and your tray tables and chairs are in the upright position. On behalf of Captain Morgan and crew, thank you for flying Jamrock Air. The white zone is for immediate loading and unloading of passengers only. No parking. Yeah. Yeah, where's Chin? He's not here. He's in the lounge. The white zone. Mr. Chin, please. By the way, I think the plane's due to arrive any moment. Excuse me, Mr. Chen. It's telephone line one. Thank you. Excuse me. Yes? The plane is coming in. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. I can see the hummingbird on the tail. We'll be right over. The plane has just landed. Perfect. I see you in the warehouse. Right. Let's go. The plane has landed. Right on. Give me Bob. Right on. Rustle, man. 
My boss wants to talk to you in the limo. Come on, let's go. Bob I, this is a night for celebration. Thanks, Jim, but I don't drink. Ah, oh, you gotta make an exception. I booked you into the Hummingbird Club. And I'm gonna make you bigger than Marley. Hey, man, you have to do better than this. Five dollars for hauling all of that equipment? That's all the US dollars I have. Brother, do you take foreign currency? Money is mine. Wow! Island dollars. How much is this worth? One hundred dollars? And it's all yours, man. Thank you. Let's not spend it all in the same place, you know? Okay. Yes, Carlos. Kini is on his way from the aeroport with the rest of men. And no coat. <laughs> you must keep him guessing, Carlos. I don't need a middleman when we have the street gangs. Not to worry, Mr. Lee. Chin, we never know what happened to his cocaine. He will blame the rest of men. Good. Jane, what's going on? What's happening, man? Relax, Bob. I. This is only going to take a minute. You have something that's very valuable to some friends of mine. They're just protecting their investment. Like what? Oh, man, don't tell me you're smuggling ganja. <laughs> Nothing like that, Bob. We grow our own ganja here in California, far superior to the island bushweed of yours. But there is one thing that we cannot grow here, and people pay a lot of money for it. Hey, Chin. Hijo de tu puta madre. I don't like your jokes. Where is my cocaine? Give me Bob. You got it. Out of the car, Rasta man. I said out of the car! Kilos of my best coal, I trusted you with an easy ship. And you can now deliver this not your Wall Street, Mr. Chin. What you can do as you please, I don't live with incompetent people. This is the first time the ship has ever been screwed up, and you know that. Now I can easily ship to you all the cocaine you want through my Jamaican connections, and I'll prove it to you. Well, well, well. Look who decided to join us. Well, Bob, why are you trying to embarrass me in front of my friend? If you are a stupid chin, you chose a resume to carry my coat to the toughest custom in the world. You are a mucho loco. Look at him. If you were the captain officer, would you let him get to without search? Oh, please, little man. 
motherfucker. Where's my cocaine? I don't know what you're talking about. I picked your hungry ass up on the beaches of Jamaica, and I brought you here so you could play your reggae music. Now, since how you told me your gratitude. Oh, Come on, Bye-bye. Tell me where you put my cocaine. Adios, honey. Save your breath. We'll freeze him, he'll talk. Where's my coke? What are you talking about? Where's my fucking coke? I don't know. One minute of the deep freeze, man, and you'll know what I'm talking about. Throw him in. Gonna be one frozen rascal, man. You're gonna wish you were in Jamaica now. immediately. Where do I look? Look at all the reggae joints. But find them. Yes, sir. I'm having trouble getting through, boss. Please, let me out of here. I think the Rastafarin's ready to talk now. Ah, oh, let him freeze. No, no, no. You have to give him one more chance. Your time's up! See that? Babylon Freeway's gonna eat you up! Now where's the coke? Uh, I don't really want no coke. I just come to make my music. Music? Fuck your roster music! I'm gonna splatter your dreads all over Babylon Freeway! I want my fucking coke! Now where is it? The heat! The heat! Go get him! I don't! Back to the hotel. First of all, go by his mother's house. And if he's not there, then go by the local reggae club. You've got to find him. And bigger. I want him back alive. No problem. He's not in Jamaica anymore. Rastaman can run, but he can't hide from Bigger.
goodbye, Rasta man. I don't give a damn about the time on the island. Put this call through. Well, did you find him? Yeah, we have one dead Rasta man. What? Killed himself. Killed himself? How? He stole a car and drove right off a cliff. Damn it! That motherfucker cost me $2 million of top-grade coke. What do you want to do? I think maybe we should backtrack the shipment to Jamaica. It's a good idea. Let's go. Vic, I want you to lay low and stay next to the telephone. Any sign of trouble and I'll be on the next plane. computer printout yet. Of what? The local station's playing Caribbean music, that's what. Huh? Ray what? Ray Gay. How do you spell that? What in hell is it? R-E-G-G-A. Uh -huh. Okay, send a uniform over to the stations playing that stuff and see if you can find out anything on the dead guy, huh? Oh, and, and Ernie, do it today, okay? Sunday morning by Haile Maskell. It is my pleasure to welcome back to the studios of the Reggae Beat, direct from Jamaica. Hi, Maskell. Nice to see you. Nice to be back in LA, Roger. Now, you and your band are going to be playing at the infamous Hummingbird Club tonight. You must be excited about that. Yes, Roger. We played it last year at a pack house. Now, you'll be playing to a capacity audience again tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't already have your tickets, I'm afraid it's too late. The concert is sold out. Irie, ma. Irie. Will you be introducing any new material tonight, Vasco? Yes, Raja. The bass player and I co out this new number. We'll perform tonight for the first time. Uh, speaking of your bass player, where is Bob I? He's scheduled to be here today. He must be resting for the concert. <laughs> yeah, it's not like Bob I to miss an interview. Well, don't fret. He'll be at the concert tonight. We'll be right back with Haile Maskell. Yes? Mr. Stefan. There's a police officer here, and he'd like to speak to you. Look, we haven't finished the program yet. What's the problem? Hello, Mr. Stefan. What? Bob I is dead? <laughs>
have you been? Mr. Robbins has been trying to reach you. Is he in? Yes, he's in with Junior. Thanks, Maggie. Bye. It's dangerous on the streets, man. But that doesn't justify a $200 bill for tips. You want to stay on top, you got to pay top dollar. It's a sign of the times. And if you don't stay on top, you're out to lunch. You wind up in the garbage like all the rest. And I know you don't want that. Yes. You know where to reach me. Hey, Cliff, how you doing? Hi, Junior. I'll see ya. Hi, Jess. Cliff, where the hell have you been? You know, I've had Maggie looking for you for a whole week now. I think your memory's slipping, Jess. I was out fishing for a week. Oh, that's right. Have a seat. What's up, Jess? It's one of your musician friends. Oh, which one? Bob I. What's up with Bob I? I thought he was in Jamaica, smoking ganji and making music. Don't tell me he got busted and deported. He's dead. They found him in the bottom of a ravine in L.A. His mom's been frantically trying to reach you all week. She seems to think that he was murdered. No way. At any rate, the funeral's this afternoon in Hollywood. I've ordered you a suit. You've got about 45 minutes. You all right? Yeah. It looks good. It looks too morbid. What, are you going to a funeral? Yeah, well, I'm just gonna go for something a little more comfortable, okay? Thanks, buddy. trouble. He's been arrested several times for smoking marijuana. Uh, that's no big deal. Was he involved in smuggling? Uh, I don't know. The police said he stole the car and then ran it off the road. That doesn't make any sense. People steal cars for the hell of it every day. Not Bob. Why would he come off the plane from Jamaica to do the biggest concert ever? And then steal a car and go joyriding? That does seem a bit odd. Someone killed my son. And Cliff, you have to find out who it was. Who? Bellachin.
Tin, welcome back to the island. This is not a pleasure, Trip Lee. Someone double-crossed the shipment, and I'm here to get some answers. Sounds like you have a big problem, Mr. Tin. I'll try to help you work it out over a drink. You got to be more careful, Mr. Tin. I spoke with Carlos. He's in Mexico cooling out. He informed me that your boy was arrested for killing Bob I. What are you talking about? When did you speak to Carlos? This morning. He told me you were on your way here. How does he know that? Your boy is Felix Gus to the police. The Los Angeles Police Department is looking for you. Now it's only a matter of time before the island police close in on you. You're feeding me bullshit, Lee. I came here to get my coke. Now where is it? I don't know what you're talking about, Mr. Chen. Not to worry, Mr. Chen. It's ramen, coke. You. Rudy, get rid of him. He's bad for business. Yes, sir. So what were you doing, uh? Out so late that night. I was taking a walk, or rather walking my dog. She doesn't rest very well at night unless she gets a walk. Can you think of anything else that happened that night? Well, there was a fancy limo. The boy who stole my car seemed to be running away from it. Are you sure? Oh yes, quite sure. A rather obese man with a beard who was driving the limo spoke to me briefly before pursuing the boy. Did you tell the police any of this? Of course I did, but I don't think they believe me. All right, thanks. Um, if you remember anything else, anything at all, you've got my card. Just give me a call, okay? I will. Yeah? Cliff, I've got good news. I was able to get a hold of Masco. He'll be in the studio recording, and you've got a 2 o'clock appointment. That's in 15 minutes. You better hurry up, boss, because he's leaving for a gig in Saskatoon right after the session. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Your client's mother calls. Uh, which one? Bob Eyes. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll call her back later. Bye. Okay, yeah, bye. The children don't know so, so my children die and take heed You got to help the children make speed Say so, you got to feed the children Save the children Take care of the youth They are the one who make it better For today you see the seeds of today are the trees of tomorrow. Don't let them grow in sorrow. Let them have their future. Don't know. You've got to save the children. Don't know. So, so my children die in Don't know. You've got to help the children take heed. You've got to the children take care of the babies, take care of the mothers. Everyone should love them so gracefully. Oh, your love, save the children.
with Rutherford. Ivy, Hyla Maskell. Yeah, Maggie. How did you know it was me? I know because you have me under constant electronic surveillance. The client's mother called again and again. Yeah, what does she want? She wants to know when you're going to find Bob Ice Killers. What should I tell her? Just tell her I, I'm working on it and I, I need a little more time. Just keep her calm. Uh, by the way, Maggie, darling, try to find out for me who rented a silver limo to LAX last Friday night and who the driver was. Are you aware of how many limo services there are in the Los Angeles Basin? Yes, I know, Maggie, but there's only one that was rented to a bearded fat man. I'm sure you'll have no problems. Maybe on a 10% pay increase. Goodbye, Maggie. I'm going to a cricket match. Crickets can be dangerous creatures. Better be careful, boss. Cricket is a sport, Maggie, not an insect. OK, but be careful anyway, OK? Bye, Maggie. Bye. Music sounds pretty good. Thanks, Irie. Jaw works. <laughs> Bob, I was a friend of mine. His mother asked me to look into his death. If you knew Bob, then you know the man did not like to be told what to do. <laughs> Bob, I was pretty independent. Was he involved in smuggling? You don't have to deal in drugs to be involved in it. Was he involved in it? The man is dead. Let him rest in peace. Was he involved? I'm not sure. Don't push it. Let's go watch some cricket. Last Friday night, who picked you up from the airport? Bye bye, people provided a rent a car. Who were they? I don't know anybody's name. Did Bye bye leave the airport with you? Bye bye always loved traveling style. Like a big fancy car style. Oh, you know. A big fancy silver limo. Yeah, he was trying to escape from that limo when he stole a car. Who was driving that limo? Baba said some producer friend of his, the one who arranged this LA gig. You know him? Never seen a man. All I know, he got the cash. <laughs> OK, let's go watch some cricket. OK, man. Here come Prince. He was at the airport Friday night. Bad day for cricket, my skill. And you win some, you lose some. Why don't you try some baseball? Prince, this is Cliff, a private eye. Oh, yeah, what you eyeing me for, man? Baba, you're one of these musicians. Wrong private eye. I'm no man's musician. You came into the country with him. Sure, I know Baba. We used to play music in Jamaica, so what? Cliff. They murdered my son. And I want you to go to Jamaica and find his killers. What's this? For your expenses. We don't need her money. No, we don't need this. You won't go? I'll go to Jamaica and try to find out what happened. Oh, thank you. Thank you. What's with you today? You look tense. I'm just not sure about this trip, Cliff. What, you don't think I can handle this case? I know, it's not that. So what is it? We promised Baba's mother we'd help. I know. You can handle the case. I've got confidence in you. After all, I chose you, didn't I? It's just that this job keeps getting more complicated by the minute. 
explain that to me? Well, Bob Eye's car didn't go over a cliff. It was blown up under some underpass in L.A. Then why did the police lie? It was a grenade explosion. They figured it had something to do with terrorists, so they needed time. So what did they find out? Well, according to my connections, there were possibly two persons involved. Maybe more. Yeah. Here's one of them. His name is Chin. Chin? Yeah. A black Chinaman. He's on the island now. One of his drug deals went sour. Did he kill Bob Eye? No. But his boy said he ordered him killed. Then he's the one I have to find. And then what, Cliff? This man is big time. Old Chinese proverb, small axe chop down big tree. Let's go to the airport. <laughs> What's this? Jim McConnelly. He's a criminal lawyer. Got a lot of connections on the island. Be a good man for you to know. Thanks. You're a dead man, brother, too. Look around here. Listen, let's talk this over. I've got 10 G in my pocket. You have to do better than that, man. You would far more than 10 thousand that I did to my boss. I have 50 thou back at the hotel. It's all yours. You're the boss. Come. Small chain, brother chain. Carlos say you're a very good pilot. Save the money for the fuel. I got a job to do. Get back to you. Huh? Where the hell have you been, boy? You know I have to be at the airport. I'm getting rid of chin take more time than planned, sir. Anyway, the bypass bridge is still open, sir. I can't take it to the ear field in no time, sir. For your sake, you'd better. No problem, sir. What are you stopping the car for, boy? You know I'm late for the airport. Rudy boy, put that gun away. Don't be a fool. Simon? Great. Okay, let's go. Where's the driver? No problem, man. It's an automatic.
scholar. The job is done. Mm-hmm. Lee's dead. I want my money now. 500,000 US dollars. Don't worry. I'll deliver the shit. Yeah. And chin. Mm-hmm. And Friday. In Lee's plane. Have my money ready. Okay? For some money I've not seen. Excuse me, sir. Wani, you are back for Jamrock image. No smoking in public. General, match you some ID, please. I'm Cliff Brotherhood. What are you doing with this photograph? I'm a private investigator. Let's go, Wani. Quickly, move. You're an embarrassment for Jamrock image. Smoking guns in public. I'm gonna lock you up and throw away the key where the grass don't grow. Lieutenant Samuels. Yeah, Lieutenant, this, this is Cliff Rutherford. Is there anything I can do for Wani? Wani is beyond help. He'll be free in 24 hours when he is sober. Okay, um, I'm going to be straight with you. I, I'm here investigating a friend's death. His name is Bob Ian. He was just another ganja smoker like Wani. Hustling the tourists. He obviously hustled the wrong one. I'm sort of in the dark. I'll need your help. <laughs> Foreigner? The way earthy things are going, anything can happen. Cliff, how's the island? Is McConnelly treating you okay? No, your connection's off the island. No, I don't know. I met a cop today, and he said he would help. I got a visitor. I gotta go. Okay? Bye. How are you looking for me? Sorry about missing your arrival. How long will McConley be away? I am waiting for him to call. Well, why didn't you call our office? I didn't have time. It was an emergency. This plane must not leave this spot under any circumstances. Anyone want to move it, must get clearance from downtown. Do you understand, man? Yes, sir. Lee was the one who double-crossed the shipment. More shot and a deal. <laughs> Say fuck you. <laughs> that motherfucker lied to me. <laughs> Carlos, he must in on it, too. I don't believe that. He'll keep big time. I'm getting rid of them one mega man. By killing them. Especially with two killer dreadlocks and all them Babylon system there. That was an accident. Accident? Blowing up a dreadlocks in downtown Los Angeles can't be an accident. Dicka, that motherfucker, he killed a punk. I had nothing to do with it. You should change your name to Reagan. Cause you don't know what's going on in the business. No offense, Gina, but I 
think Rastafarians have a language all their own. It is a byproduct of slavery. They call it biblical parables. So no one can understand them. I have no problem understanding. I do. They look at you as an outside threat. <laughs> they look at me as a threat to their ganji crops. The Rastas are not worried about the ganja crops. They are not the ones reaping the big bucks. Well, who is? Remember, Jamrock is an island where the constitution is written in pencil. <laughs> so all the men with all the money own the erasers, right? Or the guns. Can I get you anything else? Um, some coffee, please. Blue Mountain? Only the best. Island hospitality. Did you enjoy your meal? I think you have to acquire a taste for catfish and egg. You would prefer a hamburger? I'd prefer a dance. You're out to reggae? <laughs> what? Yeah! The sun never set on reggae music on Jamrock Island. This is Mikey Dread at the controls. Oneness. Strictly. Oneness. Oh, oh, na, 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 na. What do you know about Lee? What you tell me? I tell you too much. Lee has disappeared. Why be surprised? He's a drug dealer. Hmm. Strange. Lee was scheduled to catch a plane to Hong Kong last night. He caught no plane. I checked his house and no one is there. Did you check his group of hoods? <laughs> I got the lead. Can you tag along? Who are you looking for now, Lieutenant? I'm looking for Lee. Lee, I haven't seen Lee in months, Lieutenant. You're lying. He was seen here last Thursday. Well, Lieutenant, he might have been, but I was here. I was in Kingston. Excuse me, Lieutenant. I have guests waiting. You're a busy man, rude boy. What you want, sir? I want Lee. Where is he? I'm not his keeper. <laughs> It's up to you. We can talk here or in town. He's off the island, sir. Where? In Hong Kong, sir. When did he leave? Yesterday, sir. And how did he get there? We 
Ed's friend, sir. I took him to the dock yesterday, sir. Which dock? Pier 10 at Sea View, boss. Rudy boy, if you're lying to me, I'll be watching every move you make. And you, next time I see you, but if you're on the next plane off this island. Come, Cliff. Do you have any other bright ideas? Follow them. Yes. doing here sorely? Should be the blanket. Get dressed. I have hot lead for you. Why'd you wake me up so early, Monty? I met a brethren behind bars. He tells me a shipment's going down early. How do you know your brethren's telling the truth? Why should he lie? I mark nearly secretary. Take her to the Kiev. Try it again, foreigner. Is this what you woke me up at 4 a.m. for? Got a major problem. The plane's been grounded. No problem. This is jam rock, man. I have my way of getting what I want. <laughs> sure, this is it, Monty. Patient is a vertifier, no? Patient Lisa will stay here and wait. Aren't you of whom? Samuels. Where can you go? Eh? You can't stop by an iPhone and smoke the herb. Is there a phone around here? Five miles back in town. You don't know wild goose chase. One is too stoned to see reality. Is there any news about Lee? I've checked Hong Kong, Miami, and Kingston. Still nothing. By the way, Cliff, is McConley's secretary with you? No, no. I, I left her in my room at the hotel. What's going on? Her office called. She did not show up for work or phone in, and they are very concerned. So am I. See ya. Excuse me, did I get any messages? Yeah, this is Cliff. 
I don't like when you foreigners come over here and try to put your nose in other people's business. You want to go back? Yes. Meet me behind the market alone in 30 minutes. The open market square in 30 minutes. I set the girl free. Bomba club. You know it's a trick, man. I don't care. I gotta get Gina back. I'm going. Okay. In that case, Juan and I will go with you. Not to worry, we'll keep a safe distance. But they said no bats! This man is very dangerous. Let's go. Jamrock Coast Guard, Lewis speaking. Lieutenant Samuels here. Lieutenant Samuels. So y'all chasing another ganja smuggler? No, Lewis. It's a kidnapping. An American was taken from Bay Market by a local fisherman's blue and white boat, going north. Towards Morgan's Cave? What do you know about Morgan's Cave? Well, there's a rumor that there's some cocaine processing going on in a part of that cave. Impossible, man. That cave's not safe. Listen, man, I have to get inside. Can you help? Lieutenant, I think I have just the right boat for you. Good, man. I'm on my way. I have an extra piece, man, and you're welcome to carry it. I don't need no one. Foolish old raster, man. Let's go! get you all you want. You don't need Carlos. Let's go see the Tracy. Bye-bye. 
and you're gonna pay for that. Who do you think you are? You're in a position to make demands, boy. The plane is ready, boss. Get rid of them. Now. Yeah. I got a plate full of shit. Very good, boy. I got my money? Yeah. I look forward to see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Have a safe life. Okay, yeah. El envío de Yarrow está llegando. Ve, encuéntralos en la pompa de gas en Texas. Pero recuerda, la policía está buscando a Chin. Mata a Chin. ¿Eh? ¡Kill Chin! ¡Ándale! Sí, señor. So what did he have to say? It's okay, he's got the money. That motherfucker. Can't wait to get even. I hope you can't fly this plane. It's not a motor car. You tell me not to worry. You tell me that everything is under control, and then look what happens. I end up kidnapped by your local nickel and dime hoodlums. I mean, we could have been killed. No problem, man. I did not expect him to use a boat, but now you're a free man. And so is Chin and the dope. Not for long. Foul that feed a yard, no hard be catch, man. What? We know where they're going, and we know what they look like. We go after the man. Are you aware of the size of the continental United States? Yeah, man. Many states. But I figured them to be in one or two of the western ones. Western states? Which one? Arizona, New Mexico, California? Which one? I read an article in US Time magazine on drug smuggling. And it states Arizona is becoming the mecca for drug smugglers. Arizona is a big state. Yeah, man. But if you were a small-time drug smuggler with a small plane of limited range, tell me, what would your flight pattern be from here to Western States? Please, call your boss. Have him run a computer check on all abandoned airfields, military or private, in Western Arizona. Okay. All right. Hey, Chin. How long we got, man? Relax. We'll be there in a couple of hours. Okay, I'll take a nap. Carlos, the plane is landing. See? Hey, Oscar. I'm very glad to see you. This was one hell of a trip. Rudy Boy wasn't much of a co-pilot. He slept all the way. Chingaste a tu madre, Ching. Adios, señor Ching. Solo estoy cumpliendo con my job. Samuels was right. I checked with my contact at the LAPD, and they suggest that you try the Wickenburg Municipal Airport. Yeah. Well, when they picked up Chin's boy here in LA, they found a map in his possession, and that airfield was circled. Hmm. Okay. Well, Cliff, be careful, will you?
Have a good flight. I'll see you later. Can I help you, fellas? Oscar 97 entrada. Oscar 97 entrada. Oscar, hay cambio de planes. Carlos quiere que aterrice cinco millas al oeste en una base militar abandonada. De acuerdo. Capturing two drug smugglers we believe are trying to use your municipal airport to transport drugs. That's a doozy. This is a respectable retirement community, Mr. Samuels. Lieutenant Samuels, Jamrock PD. Well, we listen to Nancy Reagan. We just say no to drugs. Sir, this isn't a hoax. We've been following a shipment of cocaine from the Jamrock Islands for days now. All indications show that this town is the last drop off. Is there somebody at the airport you can call? Please. I'll call the control tower. Airport control tower. Come in, please. Airport control tower. Come in, please. Hey, Bill, this is the chef. Come in, come in. Oh, there's no answer. How far is the airport? Oh, not far. dead. I'll call the DEA. They have the manpower and the resources. Yeah, well, uh, you wouldn't mind if we looked around. As long as no more dead bodies are found, it's okay. There's an old abandoned military base beyond the airstrip. It's worth a look. Let's go, man. Good boy. Welcome to the United States of America. I'm blessed by your abilities. See you in the top of the I would like to discuss a permanent business with you. Relationship now with Mr. Lee is the same. I'm not interested in your business anymore. I want to leave Jamra. You are my ticket. Now give me my money. I have to money, little boy. But first, I have to sell what they could. Thank 
we have one. Here is the ice of dollars. Take it and go home. I will be rash glad you are Davis, man. Island dollars. Man, this is America. I want US dollars. Don't be foolish, good boy. Put your toy away. Look at around you. You are a number. I got rid of Lee and Shin. I know you're trying to fuck me. I'm not afraid of you. Give him my money and blow your fucking head out. No need to kill the goods. That place they call the name. I can get you all the money you want. Fuck you! The engine's still warm. It can't be too far. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm going to ground this plane for good this time. With a bullet. I put it in the coil, the engine gets hot, and kabosh! No more flying, man! <laughs> Still missing. I just gave a speeding ticket to a tall black man from Jamrock Island. That sounds like Rudy Boy. Bumbo class, you call us. Jam rap me gone. American woman you promised me. <laughs> Let's go, man. Guns and drugs and blood money. Illegal smuggling. Aeroplane flying. Oh, fast smuggling. 